Hello, all you magnificent people, Derpo the Magnificent here, and today we're back with the 17th episode of the Modern Cluster Fudge. <sighs> today we'll be fighting the moon. Wait. No, we won't. I think this is the first time ever that I've had a series where we're not fighting the Moon Lord on episode 17. This is insane. I, well, I mean, I guess it makes sense. There's a lot of freaking bosses. But, yeah, we're, we're quite a ways away from the Moon Lord by the looks of it, which is a little unfortunate, but well, yeah, you know, whatever. Well, we'll get there in the end. So, first thing I want to do for this episode is we're going to open up uh, some loot bags. 85, 85 of these suckers, because uh, I farmed the pirates for a bit because uh, Neo Selket was telling me I needed to farm the pirates to get the, a thing called the Greedy Magnet. And by the way, I did not get it. Uh, I farmed like six or seven pirate events and did not get the Greedy Magnet. Many, many pirate ship kills and none of them dropped the Greedy Magnet. So, sorry Neo Selket, I, I don't have it. Also, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, so, during that I got a lot of loot bags, and then I also killed uh, King Slime 40 times. Not sure why I did it 40 times, but I did, and got a, just a crap ton of loot bags. So, uh, I am assuming that this is basically going to completely invalidate the post-Plantera dungeon, and give us all the loot that we could possibly get from it. Let's start going. Betsy Wings, cool. Keybrand, cool. Dive Cthulhu, amazing. It's like, oh wow, it's also going to invalidate the, uh, the solar eclipse, is it? Mmm, and the, <laughs> and the Martian event. Oh my god, we also get Shroomite. Oh, Legendary is the, oh no, no, yeah, that's fine, yeah, that, that's what I expected. Okay, so right off the bat, we got some uh, pretty insane loot. Um, Gonna have to start selling a lot of this crap. Legendary Core 2 Plat! Jeez, that's amazing. Xenopopper don't care about. Betsy's Wrath is pretty cool. Don't know if it's any good, because I've never actually gotten to use it. Uh, so let's continue to open these. A sniper Scope, Paladin Shield, Mothron Wings, Black Belt, friggin' that thing, Paladin's Hammer, another of that thing. Oh my god! This is ridiculous. It's a bit powerful, maybe. Like, holy crap. Might might be might might be a bit much. Pro probably yeah, this is, this is a bit much. <laughs> hey, look at that! We got the cosmic car key. So we don't need to farm for that. Good. <laughs> this. This is just. Oh, we got Jerry! Oh, we got Jerry! Oh, we got Jerry! I'm sorry, Initial D, but we just got Jerry. He's so much slower than Initial D, but he shoots lasers out of his eyes, and his name is Jerry. This is Jerry the Space Salamander. Oh, I love him. Man, I've been wanting to introduce this guy to y'all for ever since I started recording Terraria videos. Not even joking. Jerry the Space Salamander. Man, it's been a while. Oh, I love him. He's amazing. I, I, I may just keep him as my permanent mount, just because... Even though he's not, like, amazing, especially compared- Like, this This is a pretty hard mode mount. It really shouldn't be as fast as it is, but... Eh, the nail gun can be made into something, actually. The nail rail gun- We have to keep it now. We have to. It's made into a rail gun. Rail guns are the greatest things ever. It's just how that- that's just how that is. So, you know. Okay, cool. So, we didn't get everything that we could possibly get from, like, the dungeon and crap like that. So we are gonna have to, like, still farm for, a uh, not obsidian. I don't know why I was gonna say obsidian. Um, freaking ectoplasm. We st we're still gonna have to farm for ectoplasm and stuff, but... We got all the other, like, weapon drops and crap, so that's freaking amazing. Alright, so, that was the loot bag opening out of the way. That was just absolutely ridiculous. Um, uh, actually, how much chlor uh, ectoplasm did we get from that? Ec ecto we got 60 ectoplasm. That is not... That's not a, a small amount. Like, holy crap. Friggin... Is there any, like, incredible things we can make out of that? We can make the Magna Striker. That thing's real good. Uh, we need the Opal Striker, though. I've heard this thing's real good, though. Oh, it's range. Never mind. 
never, nope, never mind. Lightning staff? Mage hand? Okay, well, I know what we're getting. We're getting those two. There we go, lightning staff, give me that. Uh, I'm hoping this is absolutely incredible. Um, and then I also want the mage hand. Ma 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 mage, mage hand, there we go. Okay, so, now we got two new, well, one new weapon and one probably insane tool. So, lightning staff, please be good. Oh my god, it, it is just a lightning staff. It's just a lightning staff. This is all I've ever wanted. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's exactly what I wanted from a lightning staff. It is a staff that shoots lightning. And not full lightning or anything like that. Lightning. Dang, and it's actually kind of good as well. Okay, and then this thing. Summons a mage hand that can pick up an enemy or items around itself. Cannot interact with objects from too far away from the player. What the frick? I'm so confused. Oh, it could pick up items and toss them around, can it? Oh my god, it's, it's a physics. It's a physics gun! It's a fizz gun from Gmod, with no ability to freeze things, and with limited range. But you know what? It's a fizz gun nonetheless. I gotta go grab something. Hey, <laughs> hey, I, I, I gotta go. Hey, Pixie, come here. Gotcha. <laughs> That's amazing. Hey, come here, Gerd. Okay, so if you, if you move the hand too fast, it drops. And you can't actually throw things. Well, that's sad. It's still pretty crazy, though. <laughs> it's like... The enemy's getting near, and it's just like, Nope, you ain't going nowhere. I'm just gonna hold you up to my crystal and explode you dead. That's pretty cool. Um, not really sure how useful it is, but... You know, whatever. I mean, we have a lightning staff, so... Oh, the lightning's got range, no. That's really cool, though. I'm also gonna bring the endurance potion along, because... Well, if I'm from... Unless this guy's been updated, which I think he actually has, since uh, this is, like, a Tremor remastered or whatever. He probably isn't as bad as he used to be, but he's probably... Uh, traveling Merchant's out. Yes, he is. Um, oh, by the way, I figured out that this thing's actually really good. It's, like, real good. You just can't use it when there's a dummy nearby, because for some reason it prioritizes the dummy over actual enemies. So, it's a bit odd that way. Um, but yeah, we're probably going to be using the laser machine gun and the lightning staff and stuff like that. It'll, it'll be great. How did I die? Apparently it was a rocket. I didn't see no rockets though. I, th I think I may have to use the laser machine gun. As powerful as it is, I think it's gotta be done. I feel like it's necessary. Holy crap! This guy's ridiculous! The damage is ridiculous! Good God! Alright, you know what? I guess we're going all out. I only got one summoner left, so it's 97% all in time. All right, here we go. We're going all in. I've, I've, we're, I, I took out like all the stops. The only stop I left in was the life steal stop. I ain't gonna do the life steal potion. That's just a bit too far. We're gonna win this time, though. <laughs> he does so much damage. 
There's no, you can't do jack. There's no, you can't do anything. All of his attacks do like 200 damage. It's like, it's, it's just post Gollum. It's not like, it's, it, you're supposed to do it like before the Martian Madness. I have Martian Madness stuff. What the frick? Okay, so I guess we're not doing that guy at the moment. Because, good God, he's just way too freaking difficult. It, that, I, I got nothing. Let's do the Leviathan. I think we can do the Leviathan. Do we have an arena set up? Oh, yeah, we do have a bit of an arena set up. Okay. Uh, I feel like we could probably do the Leviathan. Actually, actually, what is the next ore we're supposed to be able to mine? Hold on a sec. Okay, so, turns out we can actually go ahead and get the Chaotic Ore from the Underworld. So, I'm gonna go do that, because that stuff's real good. What the frick? What is that? What the heck ore is that? Can I mine it? I can. It's Volcanic Ore from Echoes of the Ancients. Ooh, I'm immediately interested. What is this stuff made into? Volcanic stuff. Yeah, it's Summoner. Dang. Hey, it's got a staff, so maybe I should make it. Should probably make it, just just cause just real quick. Um, I don't know if it's any good. This may be like pre golem stuff. Um, but hey, it looks really cool. All right, volcanic bar. Let's make twelve of those suckers, and then we should be able to make a. Where the frick is it? Volcanic staff. There we go. Does a lot of damage. Not sure how good it's gonna be though. There we go, chaotic bar. Craft as many of those suckers as we possibly can. Awesome, 68 of them. And we'll plop them in there and see what we can do with them. Chest plate, uh, we're gonna want the magic one. Magic one, there it is. And the pants. Perfect. And then I think we can make some nice weapons out of it. I don't remember. Scorpion wings, plop, and these things are so much better than the Mothron wings. Yeah, yeah, they're really good. Uh, they do not look good with that die though. Okay, so we got those on for now. Um, oh my god, that's so much better. Thank goodness. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, we can also replace the shield of Cthulhu because we got the the black belt and the tabby. The ninja sock. Alright, we now have a much better dash. Thank goodness. I have been needing that for such a long time. Whew! Progress is being made. Yeah, forget. Let's go do that. The Leviathan shouldn't be too difficult and can give us some incredibly powerful weaponry. Plus, it's just a boss on the list, so we should do it anyway. Oh, frick! I forgot the cultists were there. That's right, that's technically the next thing. Wow. Not yet, though. Not yet. Maybe we'll do the cultist at the end of this episode. Oh wow, we're supposed to... We're even supposed to do the plague bringer before the cultist. Man, I am really out of whack. Like, I forgot the boss order completely. Jeez. Um, yeah, we got a lot. No, we're not gonna be fighting the cultist at the end of this episode. That That's just not gonna happen. Alrighty. Here we go. Oh wait, no, I can actually leave the music on for this. Um... Whoops! <laughs> um... <laughs> this, uh, might be a little bit too powerful. Maybe, maybe, uh, a little bit too powerful. Do you, um, do you happen to see just how freaking fast the siren died? That was ridiculous! Holy frick! Oh, there's an ocean mimic! Ah, it's scary! Kill it dead. Okay, we killed it. It's dead. 
Wow, it dropped a lot of stuff. Squid tentacle. Why would I not want that? That that sounds amazing. Oh, it's a grappling hook. Never mind. That's It's a grappling hook that doesn't even work. Cool. Well, here we go again, I guess. Okay, so that was a little bit more what I was expecting. This thing is still really powerful against the frickin' Leviathan. So, you know, there's that. Hey, we got the Siren Song and the Leviathan. Okay, the Siren Song is what I was going for, though, so... We got that. We're good. We can go home. Leviathan down. I'm very sad that it was just a very quick... ...fight. That, that, that was... It's kind of sad, to be honest. Okay, well, there's also, there's also Astrid Deus. Oh, he's like the, the super worm boss guy. That guy, he's friggin' tough as frig. Um, and then we also got the Frost... The Frost King? Frost Crown? Oh, he's before Coglord. Maybe he's easier than Coglord. Golden Crown, Halib... But Frost Chunk? Where the frick do I get those? Oh, I have some of those, right? Pretty sure I have some. Um, I have two. <sighs> well, frick that, I guess. I'll, I'll farm for those materials later. Probably. What else? What are, what are the friggin' bosses we got going on? We got, uh, the Wall of Shadows? He sounds really cool. Shadow Relic? How do we get that? Nope. That's not what I meant. Shadow Relic. Where do we, uh, how do we get that? Nope. Nope, that's not it. It's not... There we go. Steel bars. Where the frick do we get steel bars? How do you craft steel bars? Lead and coal? That's it? Is it the only way you can get them? Okay, well, how many did we need again? Friggin' 12 of the suckers. We also needed phantom soul. Phantom... Which we do not have. Okay, so the Wall of Shadows is also not happening. There's Bissy in the Forgotten. He's the uh, Thorium boss. He's really, really hard, though. Um, and he takes a lot of preparation. I mean a ton of preparation. Um, Coglord's BS. Um, Martian Madness, I, I don't want to deal with that. Plaguebringer will take forever, but I guess we can try and go for the Plaguebringer. I mean, we do have this thing, and this thing's very, very good. Astrum Deus, how do we get that guy? Starcore. Blammo. Let's make two of them suckers. And fight Astrum Deus. Okay, Astrum Deus, here we go.
Astrum Day is down! And they actually changed the way that works. I like the addition of the one final worm that you then have to fight. That's cool. Alright, so we got the Astral Bulwark. Taking damage drops Astral Stars from this guy. Yeah, it provides immunity to the God Slayer debuff. Cool. And we also got Starfall. Oh yeah, it's that thing. Very interesting item. Uh, I don't know if it's any good. Probably not. Yeah, it's not incredible. It's alright. You know, frigate, let's go farm up the materials for the Plaguebringer, because he's actually not that bad. He's a- f I, I like him. He's a fun boss. Where the shiznit are all the plague hornets? Come on! Aha! There you are, you bugger. Get over here. And get decimated. Hey, that's enough to make the summoner. Fantastic. Let's go home. Let's make the summoner. And let's fight the plague bringer. I'm gonna try, like, I'm still gonna use this thing, but I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't do the super lasers. Because if it does the super lasers, it'll probably be way too easy. And I don't want it to be way too easy, because I rather enjoy the plague bringer. Here we go with the uh, plague bringer Goliath. If I can kill all these things and not die. Plague bring her down. Maybe I'm just using weapons that are just like extra powerful or something. Cause I feel like I feel like a lot of these bosses are just way too easy now. But anyway, uh, we did get the magic weapon, which I don't think I've ever actually used. That appears to be ridiculous as frick. Um, cool. Alrighty then. I still love that boss. It's still a fun boss. It's still just... It's so great. How does this thing do, though? Seems to shoot very fast. Uh, I don't know if it pierces. If it pierces, it's trash. If it's not, then it's okay. Uh, yep, it pierces. Dang it! Uh, that sucks. I really wanted to use this thing. It looks really good, but it pierces. So it's, it's not good. <laughs> but anyway, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope y'all have a magnificent day. Durbo the Magnificent out.